So in your opinion, is Umar Johnson a net positive for the community or a net negative? I'll say he's a net positive because he actually gets a platform. Oh, Lord. <laughs> These people were on Hidden Colors together, and a lot of their followers listen to both. A lot of people listen to Umar and Tariq. They're very interchangeable when you actually look at who their followers are. Tariq would tell you a lot of his followers listen to Umar, too. Umar would tell you a lot of his followers listen to Tariq. I listen to both because I feel like they're both entertaining and they both have some insight. All I'm saying is you as a content creator, I'm not trying to take money out your pocket and knock what you're doing. I just find it amusing that people don't see the con on both sides. So again, do you want to try to defend your original position or do you maybe recant and acknowledge that he's a net positive or excuse me, a net negative overall, but he makes some good points. Okay, I'll give you that. Net negative that makes some good points. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give Jesus, there's salvation I'll give after all. I I'll give you that. Oh, Lord. All right. All we, right. we are re educating <laughs> tethers one tether at a time, okay? One tether at a time. We will do it. We will do it, family. Send me donations. Send me donations. I am starting a school to re educate and reprogram the tether community. And we have our first pupil. He is my first student of the school. Right here, y'all. Right here. <laughs> My first student. Yep, I can hear you. Let us know what you think about Umar. All right. Okay. First of all, um, you randomly popped up in my recommended, and I watch a lot of Umar content. You get what I'm saying? Because I am African. I'm not an FBA, so I'm very supportive. But I also like Tariq. I feel like he's very entertaining. He's hilarious. You know, as a non-FBA, I find a lot of his content factual and hilarious but at the same time i just don't understand where the separation is because at certain times Tariq started off as you know pro-african i support africa whoop -de -whoop. we started here this is this this is that even had umar in the hidden colors i don't know where the disconnect came through i just feel like they're two businessmen who both do the same thing and people just pick a side because they relate to one side better some people want to have the feeling of being different, you know, so they don't want to categorize themselves with Africans. But as an African who knows a lot of Africans, and I grew up with FBAs because my father that brought me to America is an FBA from South Carolina, Somerville to be exact. Africans okay, wait, wait, really... hold on, hold on, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, okay. Well, it's slow a lot to say. It's a lot to say. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to hit the buzzer, man. It's a buzzer <laughs> no, no, beat. Out. I get so, it. We I'll can take down. time now. We can take that. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, so, no. so you're saying yeah. you identify as African, but your father's FBA? No, listen, I am 100% African, born in Africa, the country of Zambia, right? My mother okay. got married to an FBA from Somerville, South Carolina, and that's how I ended up in America. You know, he comes okay. from a Christian Baptist household, whoop -de -whoop, all that. So all I'm trying to say is I grew up with FBAs, and I also grew up with Africa. Wait, wait, so, so at what age did you move to America? I came to America at the age of six years old. Okay, okay. And I'm now in my 30s. Okay, and you're now in your 30s. And and what are your thoughts on Umar Johnson? My thoughts on Umar are he's a finesser. Uh, you know, he, he's horny. He, he chases women. He uses his platform to get women. But I don't knock the hustle because I can see through it, right? But I do think that he also has some factual and historical, you know, context about himself like he he does point out things that are factual and true when he when you talk about history he knows his history he knows what's going on with a lot of these people so i take it with a grain of salt i've never donated to a school you know i'm not that naive until he opens it then i'll donate but haven't donated to school but i don't think that umar has bad intentions i just feel like both of them Tariq and umar are finessers and but they also have some insightful information but well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Their... wait wait hold on i'm not understanding how in the same breath, you can say that you don't think Umar has bad intentions, but you recognize he's a finesser and a scammer. When I say he's a finesser, I know he's I know money is his bottom line, but that doesn't mean I can't take the information with what you're saying because you haven't built the school. Umar. I hear the excuses. I, I, I see how you say we're going to get the HVAC going, but it never gets you know, it never gets going. But I also feel like the information that you give is insightful to a lot of people that are lost that that's what i mean if that makes sense okay like so, so so we could say that um adolf hitler was a great orator and gave riveting speeches but do we 
turn a blind eye to the genocide and the bad? I mean, no, no, we, we, don't, turn a, we don't. We don't turn a blind eye. But what I, all, all I'm trying to tell you is, Tariq does the same thing. That's the bottom line of what I'm trying to say. I don't see how. Oh, so you're basically saying negative. you're basically the saying. Umar is a scammer, but what about Tariq? I think Tariq's a scammer too, Mike. Why don't we talk about Tariq? <laughs> no, I'm saying both of them. I'm saying so many of these channels pick one side to attack. Some people, Pan Africanism strikes back. Uh, Morris TV, they attack Tariq. That's their thing. Lynn and Honor, I don't know if your channel, because I just saw you on my recommendations. I don't know what most of your channel entails, but I'm going to assume that you attack Umar. So I feel like. All of this is, is just a con game. It's all just a con game on both sides. And there's so, no so actual wait, so, solutions so, coming out of so it. So somehow you're comparing content creators who earn a living producing content for their audience. You're comparing that to Umar, who's scamming donations under the guise that he's going to build does the same thing. thing. And I can rebuttal you with the same thing. Tariq does the same thing. So you're, you're not giving a rebuttal. This is called whataboutism. I ask you about Umar and Umar scams, and you can't give a response without mentioning Tariq. If we're talking about Umar and Umar scamming as ways, why do you even have to throw the, oh, but what about Tariq? And matter of fact, you YouTubers make videos, and I think everybody's just a scammer at the end of the day. Sir, is, is it possible for you to critique Umar scamming without mentioning Tariq Nasheed? Is that possible? Go hand in hand. I, I could do that, but based on the picture, the header that you had when I saw Tariq only gave me 500 and knowing that these people were on Hidden Colors together and a lot of their followers listen to both. A lot of people listen to Umar and Tariq. They're very interchangeable when you actually look at who their followers are. Tariq would tell you a lot of his followers listen to Umar too. Umar would tell you a lot of his followers listen to Tariq. I listen to both because I feel like they're both entertaining and they both have some insight. All I'm saying is you as a content creator, I'm not trying to take money out your pocket and knock what you're doing. I just find it amusing that people don't see the con on both sides and the finesse on both sides. And people pick a side and think that they're on the right end of history by picking one side when both are just. OK, sir. So if you think both of them are degenerate scammers and fraudsters. Why do you follow them? <laughs> Why do you watch any content from these individuals if you think they're scheming? And when you said Adolf Hitler was a great orator, or you use that as an example when I was talking about Umar, I feel like a scammer could still have insightful information, even if he's conning you out. To be able to do what they do, you have to be very intelligent and eloquent and actually know things to sway people to think a certain way. So I'm not going to take their intelligence or mock them for it just because I see through it. But the average person that hasn't graduated, isn't that highly educated, doesn't have the, the discernment. They're not going to see through the bullshit and they'll blindly follow these people and thinking that they're their saviors when all they do is keep you in a constant state of feeling like you're you're stuck, that you need to do something to get out of what you're in instead of just getting off your ass and doing it. They just make you stay in a place of hate. OK, OK. So in your opinion, is Umar Johnson a net positive for the community or a net negative? I'll say he's a net positive because he actually gets a platform. Oh, Lord. And, and the reason I'll say that, right? This is that tether one... shit, y'all. This is that tether shit. I know he's scamming, and but everybody scams, and it's just a finesse. And you know what? He says some stuff that's right, and you got to say some right stuff as a scammer. And and you know what? He, he's a net positive. What the fuck is we talking about? So what's his deal, then? What's his deal? What's your deal, man? My whole deal. My whole deal. My whole deal. My, my whole deal was just, I, I don't promote hate. Like, I get money with FBAs. I'm cool with Jamaicans. I'm cool with everybody. Only on the internet do I get on where everybody's saying, even... All right, Nagamizi, let me catch you up to speed. I invited people up to share their opinion on Umar. His opinion on Umar was that Umar says some things that are right, and sure, Umar's a scammer, but he thinks Umar's still a net positive, and that Tariq scams too, and then he went on a whole tirade about Tariq and the museum. A lot of the sentiments you shared about Dr. Umar, I agree with. That's why I said when, when I first came on here, I said, yes, he's very horny. He panders to women because that's a large portion of his do donation. If you agree with Nekmezi's sentiments, then how do you still proclaim he's a net positive? And, and, and when I said that was when he gets on these large platforms, especially because a lot of a lot of folks I see, they're just blindly and politically ignorant. So they'll support the Democratic Party or the Republican Party without knowing because their mother told them, because their auntie told them. At least Umar, when he gets on platforms, he goes viral and he'll bring attention like, hey, we shouldn't vote for these Joe Biden. 
Right, I got it. Nakamisi. So um, even though um, Kaz agrees with your sentiments towards Umar, he thinks Umar is still a net positive because he goes viral on social media platforms. Got it. Exactly. And notice that you ask him a specific question and then he'll pivot back to Democrats and, and Republicans. We're talking about Umar Johnson and why people like him need to be um, put on blast. I think Mike did a great job of showing the hypocrisy in his thought process about interracial dating <laughs> and that Frederick Douglass had a white wife. I mean, that's what we're, that's what we're talking about. If you can admit that he's a womanizer, that he has low mental or he has low emotional control, that he at least, if I'm being really nice, mismanaged funds that were donated to him. If you can at least say that he might be mentally off because as a psychiatrist or psychologist, whichever one he claims to be, you wouldn't fake a phone call to call off goons that never, never existed. He has goons in his head that he can sick on people at will. That man should not be teaching children. Kaz, do you agree or do you not agree? <laughs> I agree. I agree with most of what you just said, for sure. Thank you, brother. So there it is. So do you retract your previous statement that he's a net positive, or do you still remain steadfast with that belief? I have to remain steadfast with that belief. You don't have to remain steadfast. No, we, we all the, have the, the ability the, to change the, 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 the reason I The reason I'm saying that is because I feel like, okay, if Tariq had... Well, I think I Tariq does more numbers on YouTube, but I feel like more. Umar... Can you defend your position without mentioning the Democrats or without mentioning Tariq? Is that possible to not mention the Democrats and not mention Tariq when discussing Umar Johnson? Can I mention Republicans or they count with the Democrats? No Republicans either. But the only see, I agree. I agree with a lot of the stuff that y'all said. That's why. Then but I still feel like Umar has some good position? information. It's just, ah, oh no, bro. Okay, okay. You do understand that someone who's a net negative can still have good information, right? Yes, I yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. So, true. again, do you want to try to defend your original position? Or do you maybe recant and acknowledge that he's a net positive, or excuse me, a net negative overall, but he makes some good points? Okay, I'll give you that. Ne negative that makes some good points. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you Jesus, there's salvation after that. all. I I'll give you that. Oh, Lord. All right. All right. We, we are re-educating <laughs> tethers. One tether at a time, okay? One tether at a time. We will do it. We will do it, family. Send me donations. Send me donations. I am starting a school to re-educate and reprogram the tether community. And we have our first pupil. He is my first student of the school. Right here, y'all. Right here. <laughs> My first student. 